Hey guys, happy Vlogmas Day at 5. I am uh, going to head in here to Ulta and see what's new in the realm of skincare. Um, hopefully I don't get kicked out. So you guys seem to enjoy it when I uh, tootle along in the store. So here we go. Okay, so this philosophy, clear days ahead. Um, it, this is a 1% salicylic acid uh, gel cleanser, okay? It's, it's promising clear days ahead, clocking in at, um, I think, 35, or excuse me, 22 bucks for this 8 ounce bottle. Um, it's 1% salicylic acid. Neutrogena makes a uh, gel variant of their 2% salicylic acid. So basically, this one will probably be a little less irritating than the Neutrogena one, but will have a likely delayed onset of control of the acne, I would imagine, with a lower percentage. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what you're paying for there, 22 bucks. And these um, $42 um, salicylic acid leave-on pads, they, um, basically the principle here is this is 0.5% uh, salicylic acid. So what they're, they're having you do here is prolong the contact time by leaving it on and using a lower percentage strength. But you, you should be aware that this doesn't do anything more than just doing a 2% wash, like the Neutrogena acne wash or the Zapsit acne wash you can get in the drugstore. So leaving on a lower percent strength of salicylic acid, you know, prolonging the contact time, it doesn't get you more expeditious acne control. Um, and at 42 bucks for these, I mean, that's not really sustainable for acne, period. Acne is a disease usually requires chronic management, so this is two months, 42 bucks, I don't know, seems pricey. Okay, I get many questions about this Purity Made Simple Mask, um, if it's good. Okay, it's not, and here's why. This offers nothing that's going to give you any sort of pore or deep cleansing activity. All this is, is a mask with a boatload of fragrance and nothing more. It has a little bit of glycerin, which can be moisturizing, but there's so much fragrance in here and zero active ingredient. Um, this does nothing um, as far as uh, efficacious active ingredients and it clocks in at, uh, I don't know, 25 bucks. Uh, the Neutrogena um, acne mask, uh, the benzoyl peroxide one that you can either use as a mask or a wash is a far better and more efficacious uh, use of your time. We have this pore extractor here. This is nothing more than a 0.5% salicylic acid cream. So, same principle here. Okay, I'm over here by the um, First Aid Beauty, and I actually do really like this Ultra Repair Cream. It's got um, uh, colloidal oatmeal in it, it's got ceramides in it. It's actually very good. The problem is, it's very expensive, um, and it doesn't really offer anything over CeraVe, but I do like it. It is fragrance-free. Um, it also has licorice root extract in it, so if you're sensitive to that, uh, be aware of it. But licorice root extract can impart a brightening effect, um, as can changing the lighting, FYI, um, can impart a brightening effect. So I think that's part of the reason why people really like these first aid beauty products, like this face cleanser, for example. One of you all sent me this, and I've really been enjoying trying it out. Um, this has a licorice root extract in it as well. But the oh so helpful uh, store clerk printed out pointed out this uh, is a popular product and oh look it gets the Allure Best of Beauty Award winner 2015. This is the Ultra Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask. This is a um, colloidal oatmeal um, based uh, leave-on moisturizer, uh, leave-on mask with shea butter in it which is very moisturizing. gel by Mario Badescu is really popular um, amongst like pretty much everyone. It's uh, basically a um, alpha hydroxy acid kind of based uh, cleansing gel. It has, um, this has papaya fruit extract in it which, um, you know, papaya left on the skin can kind of be like a meat tenderizer but in low enough concentrations it can, you know, kind of 
lightly soften and exfoliate the skin. This also has a ton of fragrance in it though, um, so I'm not so so fond of that, even though it was established in 1967. Um, since 1967, the rate of allergic contact dermatitis to fragrance has increased exponentially, so Mario needs to uh, go back to the literature and update his formula to exclude uh, fragrance. That would make it a far better product. Um, but it's actually not that pricey at 24 bucks. I'm surprised. Okay, Paracon has really gone out on a limb here with this uh, blue plasma cleansing treatment. Are you kidding? This is nothing but gl glycerin and blue dye, and it clocks in at $45 for four ounces. There's nothing in this worth a dime. Likewise, um, I think the Skin Cancer Association should uh, frown at this. <laughs> He's charging 75 bucks for two ounces of SPF 30 with, quote, photoplasma. What a complete gimmick. No, walk away. Everyone always wants to know my thoughts on these MD lines, and I'm just going to come out here and say it. Don't fall for it. <laughs> There's no part of my uh, training that involved um, making a chia serum, okay, or telling people to use a chia serum. So, um, you know, this is cosmeceuticals. People are, you know, entrepreneurial, and I applaud entrepreneurs, but that is what they are, entrepreneurs, business people. So, yeah, I mean, to wash your face for $45, and then to use a serum for 105 and then a retinol cream for $85 when a prescription retinoid out of pocket it's probably similar and more likely to be efficacious by virtue of the fact that it's retinoid in its active state. Um, this is high weight robbery here. I would never ever tell anybody to shell out this kind of dough. Chia serum? No, just walk away. Like, chia? Eat that. Don't put it on your face. <laughs> Okay, so everybody wants to know what my thoughts are on the Body Shop Tea Tree Cleansing Line. Um, I reviewed tea tree and skincare for you guys um, a few videos back, so make sure you check that one out. But, um, you know, it can be helpful for acne. It can also cause skin allergies, so be aware of that. And the Body Shop, I've tried their line before. Um, it's decent. It's not any more like blow me out of the water than any other tea tree face wash. Um, the Skin Foods one is is actually a little bit creamier and a little bit nicer in my opinion, but people like the Body Shop because it's cruelty free. Um, so there's that, but um, they put fragrance in all of their products. Um, so yeah, do know that. Yeah. But yeah, they also, so the Body Shop also has just like a straight up tea tree oil. Um, I would not go putting this on the skin. I don't know if this is diluted or not, but that can be very, very irritating. If you purchase this, make sure you keep it out of direct sunlight. Sunlight will degrade this and make it more irritating and problematic. Um, yeah, I would be careful. I use tea tree oil as a toilet bowl cleanser and it works quite well. I don't know that I would put the, the you definitely don't want to put the essential oil directly on your face. This DIY skincare facial oil stuff has got to stop with the essential oils. They can be really, really, really damaging to the skin. But like I said, it works great as a toilet bowl cleaner. <laughs> this Strivectin um, anti-stretch mark anti-wrinkle cream is a complete waste of 100 and, excuse me, a complete waste of, what are they charging for this? SD Advanced. Four and a half ounces, $139. This is a shea butter based moisturizer with a tiny, tiny amount of lactic acid. There's no way that this is doing anything for stretch marks. It is a complete marketing lie, okay? Please do not waste your money on this. I mean, unless you like it. But likewise, anti aging, anti wrinkle in this, there's nothing substantial. Similarly, they've concentrated it into a smaller tube and charged you more money for, quote, serum, so as to fool you into thinking that that's somehow more efficacious, and it's not. Likewise, I get a lot of questions about this, like, crepey skin and neck creams, and honestly, you know, this isn't going to do anything for that. Um, it, all it has in it is, this is another shea butter-based moisturizer with a bunch of fragrance in it and fragrance on your neck is probably more likely to cause irritation potentially photo allergy and actually worsen um problems on the neck so i would avoid this um, likewise this neck rolling thing um skip that that's a complete gimmick as if 
as if putting a piece of expensive cold metal on your face is somehow going to like boost collagen please your skin is a lot smarter than that okay i'm over here by the derma doctor kp duty and i have to say of this line i actually really do she's got she the derma doctor has some really logical products with great ingredient selection but i cannot back the price point um in terms of of uh, being able to recommend this because it's not sustainable and as I mentioned in my KP video keratosis pilaris is a chronic skin condition so if you find something in this line how are you going to keep up with it it's super expensive take this scrub for example let's take a look at it as far as body scrubs go it's actually pretty low on the grid profile I did mention in that video that a little bit of light abrasion not too much not too much scrubbing can be helpful in lifting up some of those cells that aren't uh, exfoliating and she's done a nice job here in creating this you know quote scrub so it's easy to understand what it's for um, and it's super it's got a good moisturizing ingredients in it and it also has a little bit of azelaic acid in it which is uh, what is in finacea and it's good for kind of dissolving some skin cells so that's good and it's also got a little bit of alpha hydroxy acid in it I do think this is good I really do but unfortunately it is 46 bucks so maybe a treat but hard to keep up with likewise she has a 38 dollar urea cream you can get a urea cream in the drugstore for a far more affordable price likewise urea is no more efficacious at kind of dissolving some of that bumpy stuff than um, ammonium lactate which is what is in enamel lactin or lac hydrin which you can get at costco for quite a deal so yeah hard for me to back the price point up on that one I have to say though, this product, the Calm, Cool, and Corrected product really saddens me because essentially what this is, is it's targeting people with seborrheic dermatitis, which can be really, really affect someone's self-esteem, okay? I've said that in my videos before. Scaly patches around the nose, face, can be really hard to control a chronic problem, okay? And an active ingredient and a mainstay in seborrheic dermatitis control is something called zinc pyrithione. It's the active ingredient in anti-dandruff shampoos. She has created essentially an anti-dandruff shampoo here in a lotion form, but she's charging 32 bucks for it. That is highway robbery. When all you have to do is buy head and shoulders, lather it up, let it sit on there, rinse it off, and the zinc pyrithione has done its job. Like, But if you're suffering with seborrheic dermatitis, I could see why this would be an easy thing to fall for, but at 32 bucks, just walk away. For acne purposes she also has a sulfur mask sulfur is actually pretty good for acne um, but uh, alba botanica has an acne leave-on mask that is not <laughs> that is not $48 so I would probably choose that one over this <laughs> Well guys, I managed to escape Ulta. Uh, they were very, very generous in there and letting me uh, vlog and not, uh, they hover a lot in Ulta, a lot. Um, they're really, really um, on top of you and want to help you. Um, and they're kind of uh, perplexed by a uh, strange little woman talking to a black box. But, um, so thank you Ulta employees for your kindness and patience. But, um, you know, take home point, you guys asked me a fair amount about these MD skin line, you know, skincare lines and, um, you know, kind of doctor created uh, skincare lines. Physicians can be entrepreneurs, okay? And I support entrepreneurial pursuits. And for people with skin conditions like eczema, acne, keratosis pilaris, seborrheic dermatitis, you're vulnerable because Many of the uh, many of the ingredients that target your disease and give you disease control for chronic skin conditions are available in over-the-counter creams and moisturizers and skincare products, and consistent use of those is necessary to control your disease, okay? Um, and where where things like this become problematic is that they take ingredients that are known to be efficacious for a skin condition and they amp up the price and in doing so kind of prey on your vulnerability as somebody suffering with a skin condition. 
but it's also not fair to you, the consumer, um, as far as the ingredients, you know, not having that knowledge that, hey, zinc pyrithione is what is in head and shoulder shampoo. Um, and head and shoulder shampoo is like two bucks. KP Derma Doctors head and shoulder shampoo is like 48 bucks, okay? They're essentially the same thing. You may like the KP Derma Doctor one. Maybe hers is formulated with like slightly more soothing ingredients. Maybe it doesn't smell as funny. So you may like it better, and if you like it better, then you're more likely to use it and comply with it. But you know, as far as what I'm going to recommend to you guys, it's never going to be something at that price point because that's not sustainable. And these skin conditions that you all, that many people have that are quite prevalent, they're chronic and you don't need to go broke controlling a chronic skin condition, okay? Um, that's ridiculous. So I will never push those over basic affordable drugstore things, but I understand if you like them and you buy them and they are the quote the, they may be the only thing that works for you. I completely understand that because you know they may be formulated more elegantly and that appeals to consumer preferences and things that you like and feel good and you feel good using are things that you use consistently. Those are things that, you know, you're getting the active ingredient on your face consistently in a manner that you like. That's the control, okay? So you may hate head and shoulder shampoo. It may not be for you. You you may have tried it and just not, you don't like it. That's not your thing. You're not going to use it. It's not going to be efficacious. The onus is on you, the individual with a skin condition or skin concern. And and so, you know, so if the expensive, you know, doctor derived lines appeal to you um, or their formulations are just more pleasing to you, the aesthetics, what have you, I completely get, get that. And for the most part, their products are fine, okay? I have no problem with their products. I have a problem with the price point. Um, I, I just think that it's, you know, too steep. Um, but I support entrepreneurs. I support physicians as entrepreneurs. But just be aware that that is what, what that is. It's still a business at the end of the day. And, you know, Johnson & Johnson, Head & Shoulders, whatever, you know, th those are businesses also, but their products are are more affordable to you so they're more sustainable but yeah fun times in Ulta um, I'm gonna head on out I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you liked it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe I'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye